How's it going? It's Lee here. Hope you're well. In this video, I'm going to show you how I carry out my live jam sessions using my TD3 and recording them directly into Reaper. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that our TD3 is connected to our computer via USB cable. This basically allows the MIDI data to transfer between the computer and the TD3 itself. Next, we want to make sure that the output of the TD3 is going into an audio interface using a quarter inch jack. I recommend using a balanced quarter inch jack for this to help reduce interference and noise. So once we've set our gains, we can then come back into Reaper. And the first thing I like to do is just make sure that our audio devices are set up correctly and that the TD3 is actually being displayed within the MIDI section. So we do that by coming up to options, down to preferences, finding the audio section of the preferences and then selecting device. So just make sure your inputs and outputs are all selected correctly. Then we want to go to, down to MIDI devices and just make sure that the TD3 is present and enabled. Once we've done that, we want to go back into Reaper and create two tracks. So the first track is gonna be our MIDI track. So we're going to use a MIDI track to trigger the TD3 rather than using the onboard sequencer, which personally I find to be a bit of a pain to use. So we're going to create a second track. We're going to call this one TD3 Audio. So this is going to be the audio coming directly out of the TD3 into the audio interface and back into the computer. So let's go ahead and import our MIDI track. The easiest way to do this is literally just to drag it into the track itself. So if I press play, you'll see that we have a signal. So this MIDI track is being triggered. However, MIDI is just a form of data. It's not actually an audio signal. So as I mentioned previously, we're going to actually use this MIDI data to trigger the TD3 in real time. So what we want to do is route this MIDI data to the TD3. So we do that by going down to track one, where the MIDI data is, go down to this root button, and then under MIDI hardware output, we want to select the TD3. Then we want to go up to track two and make sure that we record on the TD3 output. And all being well, we should actually hear that the MIDI data going out to the TD3 is triggering the TD3 and is being fed back into Reaper. Brilliant, so there we go. Next we want to add a couple of effects just to jazz up the sound. As you've probably heard on my jam sessions, I do like adding a lot of delay on the TD3. I also usually add a bit of compression to help even out the sound and just to boost the sound slightly so we do that by coming down to this effects section on the TD3 audio channel so I'm going to select the delay effect first I'm not going to go into too much detail how you use these there's plenty of tutorials online I've got a preset set TD3 delay let's close that off and I'm also going to add a bit of compression just to help even out the sound and give it a little bit of a boost so now we should hear, start to hear that the sound has been jazzed up by that delay and that compression. And we can go ahead and record in real time and play with our TD3 and record some awesome jams. So if I just play that back, you'll hear the delay and I'll just have a little twiddle around with the TD3 for a few seconds. <laughs> So there we have it, that's how I record my TD3 live jam sessions. I hope you found this tutorial useful. I hopefully see you again in the next one. Bye for now. Cheers.